Y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, ready? Welcome! What up? To the Up and Down Smiley Show, where we talk about real life. And we talk about real life stories, and today we're going to talk about our 10-year love story. <laughs> Go to the intro! trying this new setup so I wanted to get a new couch but you know we go move and we can't go to uh, furniture stores and we're trying this new camera yeah. which I've had since Thanksgiving and I've just been slacking on uh, making Let's this go. happen let me know hopefully this looks better yeah I want this to be like more chill and more couch. like my vibe blankets you know just more and I feel like also a lot of my topics have been like so serious which I definitely appreciate and I think are important conversations but today's gonna be a little bit more chill and more lighthearted. I feel like my content with Sunu obviously because this dude just hit I just actually just updated your EPK 10.6k no okay all right um so obviously guys. obviously my stuff with him gets the most likes and whatnot. But also, I feel like people just like relationship stuff. So, we're going to give the people what they want. So, we've been together for 10 years. And I started this series with um, an episode with Sanu. Talking about, like, marriage. Mm -hmm. And that was a year ago. Yeah. I just started the Upside Down Smiley show a year ago. And so, I haven't had him back. And so, we figured we're going to talk about stuff. True. Talk about Let's our 10-year relationship. Kind of like how it happened. Everything yeah. like that. We'll see how that goes. So I, I feel like our relationship is like, it's more than 10 years. Yeah. Because we've well, like, known you for a long time. Right, right, right. Like we've known each other probably for like 15, like 17 years. Yeah. Tell them, tell them how it happened. <laughs> I was I had a crush on her for for a long time. But one day I... Uh, well, no, well, we before that. 420. 420's coming up. True. You know, if you celebrate, I just got my med card. True. I was hanging with one of my friends. I was actually struggling at that time um, because I just had lost a family member and, you know, just kind of working through my, my emotions and whatnot. And then I went to go chill with Sunny and we were chilling for a little bit. We went to Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. And we were watching NBA and I don't watch like sports at all. the playoffs, yeah. Yeah. And so we were chilling and I, it came up that I was single and uh, he didn't know that. And he didn't know about like my cousin <laughs> passing away. So we talked about that a little bit too and like... I appreciated that. The next day, I uh, took a trip from Skokie to Neighborville. Took that drive. That shit is far, y'all. Missing the playoffs, I was like thirty-five miles. Playoffs right? Wait. Something crazy. Something like that. Just so like, I was living with my parents in Neighborville. Cause you know how Indian people do. <laughs> and then I uh, went over there, and uh, it was also like ten o'clock at night. It was late. So he was like late. called me randomly and was like, hey, what are you doing? And I was actually smoking with that same friend the night before, again in Naperville, in another forest preserve. And he was like, oh, I'm gonna come over. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then he called again and was like, no, for, he's like, yeah, like I'm on blah, blah, here's my ETA, whatever. And I was like, this is so weird. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, tell my parents, like, if they ask, even though I'm a grown ass adult, um, and you're coming over to my parents' house at 10 o'clock, but it's like my parents' house, tell them that you were in the area. Normally, we always just kick it in the basement. That's like her thing. Like, yeah. go to her, her crib, you walk in, say hi to your mom and dad, and then boom, go downstairs. We don't even hang out in the basement anymore, though. Yeah. Like, no. I went off downstairs and we just watched TV for a long, long time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, put the playoffs on. Yeah, too. yeah, you put the playoffs on. Uh, well, I think just kind of put out our feelings, right? We just kind of yeah. Got closer and closer and closer, and then uh, I think I like bit your cheek or something. Yeah, you just something, something, something like that. Something I didn't something know you were gonna put that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you asked me if you could. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, some some weird like cheesy like, hey, can I bite your cheek? Some <laughs> stupid shit. And we just started cheesing like hard. Yeah. We started just talking about our felt feelings about each for each other. Yeah, and then it, this was like super late at night. So this was like <laughs> at like three o'clock, <laughs> four o'clock in the morning. My mom used to like go on the elliptical super early, early in the morning. morning, and she came down, and we were like, "Uh, I think uh -oh. we should go now." My parents like love Sanu from like before that. Like he has been my friend for a long time. He taught my brother Chanda, so my parents were like aware of who he was and whatnot. Literally, we have been together since then, <laughs> since that day. Yeah, which was four. 
2010. The journey has been interesting. Through a lot. I moved so, the following, like six months yeah, later. Yeah, you moved to work. I moved to Las Vegas, and so we did long distance like that. And then I was there Dallas. for 11 months. Yeah, he would come visit me. And then I went to Dallas. A lot of flying back and forth. It was crazy. Right, we were flying a lot. I was back in Chicago after like two and a half years. Yeah. So that was like, it's crazy, like seven and a half years ago. Then we kind of like went through some like trials and tribulations mm -hmm. in our relationship, which... Which I mean, everyone has, right? Right. And uh, we... Uh... And I feel like when we're quarantining right now, right? Like you're probably spending a lot of time with your partner. Yeah. And like discovering things about them. So I actually want to do a video on just like solely about that. But like, um, and I've shared a lot of it on our social media. No relationship is perfect. We had actually had our wedding date scheduled and then we mm -hmm. postponed it and then we got married in New Orleans. It had to be far enough where like it wasn't going to be the entire Chicago Canaanite community. Yeah. But like close enough that like our family could drive if they needed to just because right. we didn't want it to be like ridiculously expensive. Plus we love New Orleans. Yeah, yeah we love New Orleans. We didn't have like Indian food at the My Lunch Challenge Charles. Like we had like New Orleans local food. Southern. We like literally made sure like the reception food was local food yeah. like i wanted it i wanted it to be like jambalaya different bread like, pudding fried chicken at midnight yeah gumbo. gumbo yeah and so it was definitely that kind Walked of walked in with a brass band like it was just it was dope it was it was us it was uh, us which is like a huge part of like what i would always push to couples make it personal it's super important for our wedding when people came one to like meet people yeah because i feel like it's really hard to like connect with people you kind of just like end up hanging out with your same people so like we started like a group me yeah like everyone like i was like trying to connect people to like share ubers from the airport yeah. people like made say friends. hi to this person say hi to this person this, yeah you know, oh you guys haven't met oh yeah here's this you know it has to be intentional like it right. it's not gonna happen naturally um because i feel like it's kind of just, like who we are yeah. but anyway so yeah that year we actually got a place before we got married yeah. a couple months earlier we we're living in pilsen we lived there for two years I was working in the down suburbs, and then we we moved up here to Rogers Park almost two years ago. We've been here. And we've had a lot of different things happen, like with me starting like my entrepreneurial journey. Oh my gosh, it was two years ago, April fourth. Oh my gosh, we had fancy dinner. I forgot we had fancy dinner on um, Sunday for <laughs> my anniversary of being an entrepreneur. I feel like a lot of times people look at relationships and look at couples as like aspirational i don't think i've ever been like that I, I don't know if that's just like not my personality but really like look at yourself you can look at other people as like examples but know that there's a lot that you probably don't know about their relationship you're only seeing what they share or you're only seeing oh, yeah. one-sided or and, all positive right or all positive mm -hmm. don't compare like what you have right. to other people or i wish i had their their life like or right the relationship no that's not how that works right yeah you gotta just uh focus on yourself yeah and focus on you and making sure you're good mm -hmm. and honestly like you gotta be good before you can get into a relationship but like we also w work through a lot of things right. in a relationship and i feel like that was a big part of our learning is we went through something really big before we got married right. and so we've been through that like what we said was basically like we we got through this we stuck by each other's side through that so we can get through anything because mm -hmm. i know that there's gonna be harder things that come right and we're gonna be okay trust yourself yeah trust your partner respect your partner support your partner it goes a long way yeah. trust me we've been there know that it won't be perfect right this ain't perfect. We just got really cute clothes on though. True. We got our new stuff from India on. I got an elephant shirt on. Good focus, focus. <laughs> and then show them yours. So I got so many swaggy kurtas. Swaggy. Swaggy. Hopefully I can wear it to you know, events. <laughs> hopefully you can wear it hopefully to we it. events. No, hopefully everything no, no, will everything be fun. Be great. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. We're going to do, since I can't interview anyone, I have to do it with him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's my favorite. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. See ya, hopefully we get to see all you guys and have parties and get together and you know. Yeah, we want to see faces. We want to yeah. hang out. We want to hug you, but then I feel like that's going to be a thing. Yeah, like people are going to be like nervous oh to hug. Oh boy. I like hugs. Appreciate you guys. We're doing weekly videos. It's on my uh, goals list. So, no more excuses. Goodbye. See ya. Love you, bye.